Hi boys and girls and welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous shot here of April Scott that I shot on location and what we're really going to discuss is color correction or color grading so stay tuned and see what I do to color correct my images. Now welcome back. Now looking at this photograph here it looks fairly normal in fact what I've done is I've really brought out the color in the jeans and the red but originally when I shot April on location she was actually in the shade now the thing about working in the shade even if you're working late in the afternoon with the golden hour is that you'll really get a lot of blue light in the shade the red light doesn't seem to make its way into the open shade so when I shot it I flash filled it with a daylight strobe which then still didn't give me any more golden light that I needed. Now I could have taken a reflector and reflected some of the sunlight in there, but I was using a, uh, a flash for fill. So I maintained quite a bit of the blue, but I knew that I could take it into a raw converter like I'm gonna do here and adjust it. Now I'm looking for a simple gray tone, basic gray tone to kind of adjust the colors to give me a color correction and then I'm going to adjust some of the other um, areas of the photograph by bringing up maybe a little bit more of the warmth and a little sharpness, a little clarity, etc, etc. So that's what you can do is you can just adjust it to how you want to see it or how you want to have it presented and not just stay with the look that you've got. Now there are some cases when you do want to keep an image close to how you've shot it at that particular period of time and in some cases when you're shooting live musicians on stage or something theatrical people there spend a lot of time trying to put lighting together to give it uh, a certain look and you might want to keep that in your image as I did here with these pictures of Duran Duran I utilized the colors that someone had set up on the stage I didn't color correct them but um, I do see a lot of people that do shoot rock and roll and then turn their pictures into black and white to kind of give it that rock and roll kind of look and I'm sure that's what they're going for or something rather but you know maybe they just not happy with working with color but I like to um, go after a certain amount of color and in this day and age you know color is uh, is available for all of us we don't have to stick just to black and white so when you get a shot you can get it and tweak it and make it look the way you want and I think you agree that bringing up the color in the jeans and the top on this fabulous picture of April Scott really worked out successfully. Well if you like that story you might want to pop over to my blog andrefelixphoto.com and check out some of the stuff I've got on there. I've got some diagrams, some tips, some tricks and lots of fabulous photographs that will help inspire you to go out and do something of your own. You can also go over to my commercial website andrefelix.com and check out my work on that too. Now if you've subscribed thank you very much. If you haven't maybe it's time you should subscribe and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think maybe even shoot me out a question. I'm always interested in some questions, only too happy to answer them. And you can also follow me on Instagram. So all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.